Well now, it's big box time. And this is an unusual set known as the Packard brand box. It's a high quality box which is shrink wrapped and it contains three truck models, a DAF, a Peterbilt and a Kenworth. With the lid off it looks like we have a window on the night sky, but in fact of course it's just high quality foam rubber. Underneath the model's paintwork is protected by waxy paper and there's also a simple unnumbered plastic collector card. For the assembly it's only hook up with a tractor and trailer and the first model is a Peterbilt 579 and two axle box trailer. Joining them up is easy enough and clunk click does the trick. Next up we have a DAF XF Super Space Cab and three axle box trailer and clunk click does the trick. And the third model is a Kenworth T680 with a two axle box trailer and you know what? Clunk click does the trick. We'll start with the Peterbilt and it's a 6x4 chassis and it's detailed with quite a few plastic parts. The mesh wheels are really nice parts and there are tiny Peterbilt badges. The sleeper cab is modelled well and behind it there are tiny grab rails and an exhaust and coiled lines. The box trailer is a heavy part and it's nearly all metal and there are hoses around the axles. The best part about the trailers is the detailing including the highlighting of the doors at the back. And the big Peterbilt graphics really are very good. From the US Peterbilt we go to the European DAF and it has a very detailed chassis. And the cab looks great with its high quality finish. None of these models have number plates because they don't represent trucks from a real fleet. Behind the cab there are coiled lines, plastic wheel arches and the lights have plastic lenses. The three axle trailer is also nice quality and it's heavy. But there are no hoses on this one. Although once again the quality of the artwork on the sides is really good. And again at the back the rear doors are nicely detailed. Lastly we look at the Kenworth and unsurprisingly the chassis is the same as that on the Peterbilt. But the body is different at a detail level. And it has some very nice touches like the highlighted bolt heads on the sleeper cab. The trailer is the same as used on the Peterbilt and one nice touch is the rubber mud flaps. And again the detailing of the rear doors is really nice. And the sharpness of the paintwork and graphics on the sides is excellent. Let's mosey on over to the Cranes Etc test track where we see the Peterbilt getting a run for its money. It rolls well enough and it's nice that the steering can achieve a good angle. That's always a plus point because it poses well and it can drive you around the bend. The other feature on this model is the opening hood. And we're using the word hood to show we can speak American. Underneath the hood is a nice detailed Packard branded engine. The big box trailer is a nice looking model as we've already seen and it's got working suspension on the two axles. And that feature is engineered well. The other feature on the model is the adjustable landing legs. At the moment they're down but we can wind them up for when the trailer is attached to the Peterbilt. We rapidly now cross the ocean to see the DAF on the test track. And again it's another smooth roller in a straight line. The steering on this model is more complex and it links the front two axles. But the range of movement is very small. Still as we always like to say on cranes etc. Something is better than nothing. The other feature on the DAF is the tilting cab. And again there's a nice detailed engine underneath. The cab does tilt forward but it only just manages to hold that pose. The European box trailer has the same functions as the others. And that starts with a nicely engineered independent suspension on each axle. This trailer also has adjustable landing legs. Now we're clocking up the air miles as we go back to the US test track. And here we catch the Kenworth racing along in a straight line. This also has quite good steering with a decent angle able to be achieved. But if you do turn it very tight the tyres interfere with the hood and it goes up a little. So if you really want to drive it along you better straighten the wheels out a little bit. 
To have a look at the engine, you can open up the hood and there it is in detail. And it's slightly different from the engine that's modelled in the Peterbilt. Although, as you would expect, it does have the Packard name on it. The hood on the Kenworth also clips down slightly. The big American box truck is the same as we've already seen with working suspension and working landing legs. So here we have the three trucks from the Packard stable and they're all sitting in the cranes etc yard. And if you want something to do rather than hoovering your house, you can practice driving your Packard truck fleet. This set first came out at the end of 2015 and it's an interesting and attractive collection of truck models. As you would expect from WSI, they're all highly detailed, but their main plus point is the quality of the finish and the excellent graphics and paintwork. Overall, it's a very good set. Mm -hmm. 